Hello, today we're going to discuss the U-tube manometer that you'll find on your radon pipe or perhaps you need to install one. So what's this reading going to indicate about the fan that you're using? Well, we're going to take a look at two fans today. The very commonly used RP145, which is a medium suction fan, and the higher suction GP501. Let's begin by installing a manometer on the pipe. Your manometer can be installed anywhere below the fan. A typical location would be down in the basement or perhaps out in the garage, somewhere where you can read the manometer easily. One common misconception is that you've received your manometer without enough oil in it. The manometer is adjustable. Once you get it on the pipe, you can either slide it up or down to bring the level of the oil to the zero mark. Notice when we are drilling that hole into the pipe for the small tube that will connect the manometer to the inside of the pipe that we angle that drill downward. The reason we do that is we don't want condensation to back up into that tube and go back into the manometer. And you may want to use a little bit of caulk where the tube enters your pipe and also put some caulk right behind that tube where it enters the manometer. You don't want that tube to slip down and potentially suck the oil out of the manometer into the radon system. So we have our manometer ready to go now. We've installed the RP145 on our system and if you notice below the manometer we have a damper which is going to allow us to control the airflow which will enable us to see how the airflow affects the reading of the manometer. Okay, so to start with, we have the damper closed all the way. And if I was out in the field installing a radon system and I saw that my manometer was reading too, this would indicate that there is very little airflow coming through this system. Now let's open up the damper allowing more air to flow through the system and we see the manometer pressure drops down to about 0.3 in this situation. With the RP145, when you're installing this on a situation where you have gravel, a sump with drain tile, this is exactly what we are hoping to see. Lower pressure equals more airflow, that's good. So as we close the damper, the pressure goes up indicating less airflow. And you can see here at the top of the fan how that works as we close and open the damper. You can see the airflow uh, increase and decrease. Now let's see what the manometer does with the GP501 installed. So remember that the GP501 is a high suction fan. We have the damper closed all the way and we see that the manometer is reading four which indicates that this fan is moving almost no air. So now let's open up the damper with the GP501 and we see that the pressure has dropped well below one. So if we see this situation after installing a GP501, we would know that we are using the wrong fan. In fact, we could have put that RP145 back on and achieved the same results with a much quieter, an energy efficient fan than the GP501. So what we expect to see when we have chosen the GP501 is a pressure that comes up being somewhere between say about 3.2 and 3.8 which is a comfortable range for this fan. If it was any lower than 3.2 then we may have uh, selected the GP401 or even lower perhaps the GP301 or the RP145. 
With your Radon Away fan, you will receive a chart which will help you to see the relationship between the airflow and the pressure that you see on your manometer. So for example, find the RP145 in your chart and let's go over to a half an inch or 0.5 on the manometer which was close to what we were seeing. Drop down to the RP145 line and you'll see that the CFM or the airflow is about 120. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions about how to install a manometer, what they indicate, or any other questions regarding installing a radon system, please contact us either at Indoor Air Health Advisor or at shopradon.com. And the links to these websites are in the description below. Thanks again. Have a good day.